G'day, how are you going? Uh, welcome back to Bootlosophy, and if you're new here, my name is Tech. I acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land that I live and work on, the Wajuk people of what is now known as Perth in Noongar Now today, I'm going to go all romantic. <laughs> yes, boot people do go out on date nights, and I thought I'd show you what I consider to be my best six boots to wear out with my wife on date night. So without telling tales, what do we do when my wife and I go out on date night? Well first, after the last three COVID years, I sort of have to try to remember what we actually used to do. The sort of things we'd get up to fall into two broad categories. They could be very casual, like going out to the pub for a very messy dinner of ribs and maybe a couple of beers, or uh, going out to the local Italian relaxed trattoria and then a movie. Or we might go dressier and go out to the club for a few cocktails and a dance. Uh, maybe something fancier, linen and silver service French restaurants. The idea though is that even dressy, we'd be wearing relaxed outfits so that we were comfy rather than uh, feel confined. Very rarely, for example, would my wife be fully decked out and I would wear a suit. More often than not, she would wear a nice dress and do her hair up while I'd wear a smart button-up shirt with chinos or wool pants and I'd put on a blazer. On the really relaxed side, she might put on her jeans and throw a jumper over her t-shirt, while I might wear jeans and a t-shirt or, or five pocket pants and a button-up and maybe a short jacket like a bomber or just a crew neck jumper. Nothing threadbare and torn though. Let's respect your partner with a decent level of dress when you take her out. So to go with those themes, the boots will need to be appropriate but must remain comfortable all night. They can't be too outdoorsy and chunky because we're out and relaxed not going on a hike or chopping wood. So I'll choose three pairs of boots for each type of date night. I'll also leave links to where you can buy these boots in the description below, and some of them are affiliate links. Let's start with relaxed casual. This is dressing for a night at the pub for some ribs or fish and chips. Uh, going up market a little maybe, it might involve a very friendly and relaxed family restaurant, and then going to the movies, uh, taking a nice evening walk. So my top pick for this type of date night is the Grant Stone Edward boot in waxed tobacco suede. Now some of you might think this is a little too structured and formal to be a really relaxed casual boot uh, to go with a really relaxed outfit to have a drink at the bar counter. But this makeup in Charles Stead's Waxy Commander I believe still fits the bill. The Waxy Commander wax suede is soft and comfortable uh, and yet breaks down the formal structure of a dressy boot into something more relaxed, uh, roughed up and casual. The patina formed on this boot uh, is just awesome. <laughs> it's water resistant leather, so it stands up to running through the rain to go from the car park to pub and the uh, split beer will wash off. What's more, on Grant Stone's version of the day-night studded outsole, it's extremely comfortable and grippy on slippery pub floors. Now this is a very comfortable boot that you could stand up in all night or tuck under the bar stool. And then next I'd pick the RM Williams Comfort Craftsman in Tobacco Suede. This easy on, easy off Chelsea boot in another Charles F. Stead suede upper, it's the perfect relaxed boot. RM Williams is of course the Australian icon still made in Australia and famous for its whole cut Chelsea boot design. Ta-da! National symbol. By whole cut, I mean that the entire boot upper is made of one piece of leather wrapped around with only one seam up the back. If you've ever wrapped an awkwardly shaped present, you know how difficult it is to mould a flat piece of paper around a not very flat shape. This very svelte design and look is dressed down by the tobacco coloured suede that's soft and supple and allied with the comfort insert in the sole of these boots means that you can have these uh, on while you slurp up your pasta sauce all night. And despite its sleekness, the Comfort Craftsman is still a Goodyear welted boot. 270 degrees uh, around the front, so it can be resold when the outsole wears out. But sometimes we go to places even more casual than that, and then that's when you need to pull on your Bluntstones. Okay, wait, shock horror. I did say at the beginning, nothing too chunky or outdoorsy, 
and the blunnies are well, kind of chunky and really they're meant to be work boots. But I think as long as they're not completely scuffed and scratched and worn dry by getting cement poured on them, uh, if they look still newish like these, they, these have just been oiled, they're perfectly fine for going out with your wife to a relaxed bar, pub or other kind of casual food joint. But a bit of relationship advice, do take your cue from your partner. If he or she uh, dresses up slightly, away from jeans and t-shirts, leave the blunnies and go for one of the other two. Until then, I think the blunnies are perfectly appropriate. The TPU outsole and soft foam removable insole on the inside means that these feel like sneakers. As for style, they don't have a big bump toe and in fact they look quite sleek in this 650 model. They'd be fine paired with nice jeans and a nice casual shirt at the pub or in the a trattoria and they are extremely comfortable so you never have to massage your feet at the end of the night. They, they are waterproof. Uh, so for wet weather and in this 650 or the older 550 design, they're not enormously chunky like a bullnose work boot. But now, let's clear the table. Now, how about a dressier date night? You're going to dance the night away or go to a cocktail bar or maybe even a silver service dinner. You check with your partner and they're going to be a little dressier, maybe with some choice jewellery. So what do you wear to match? Let's say you decide it's appropriate to wear a pair of chinos with an Oxford cloth button-down shirt and a blazer uh, or even a pair of uh, wool dress pants with a button-down shirt uh, and cufflinks but dressed down with a casual sports coat. Well, you might want to join me and put on my number one choice, the Thursday Captain in their Thursday Brown Chrome. My pair's been kept dressy, well-conditioned and shined up, so I'm very happy to wear it even with a suit. It will easily match any smart casual outfit for date night. The dark brown with little shades of maroon will be a versatile colour to match most earth or neutral colours in your outfit. The cap toe can be mistaken for a dressy shoe and the sleek and slim profile is stylish. As for comfort, the upper's leather is soft, fully lined and while supportive, really feels comfortable and the pour-on layer on, in the sole will give you plenty of shock absorption uh, for those fancy dance moves. Thursday's day-night-like proprietary sole will also make sure you don't slip uh, whatever you do that night. Their rubber composition is, I think, a little softer than day-night, uh, gives you marginally more grip and also more shock absorption. But if you want it to be even dressier, maybe you do want to go to that French restaurant we talked about, you should decide on my dressy pick the Grant Stone Diesel Boot in black Chrome XL. Uh, you know, Chrome XL is a remarkably versatile upper's leather. Packed full of oils and waxes, it can clean up to being a very dressy boot, or like some other brands build with it, it can be a sturdy outdoor leather. In this guise by Grant Stone in their Diesel Boot design, it polishes up really well. The natural welt frames the, the body of the boot and emphasizes the curves of the Leo last. Even with a bit of wear and the brown undertones start to appear as the uh, T-core effect shows through, it can still look structured enough to be dressy, just well worn. Grantstone's diesel boot is a versatile plain toe service boot design. And while the leather outsole may be a little risky on greasy pub floors, in a carpeted restaurant, you should be fine. The Leo last is wide at the ball of the foot and the toe is rounded anatomically over yours so having these on your feet all night shouldn't be a problem, especially with all that leather and cork in the sole under your feet. Even if you decide to go the whole hog and wear a suit out on date night, these will still match your suit. Now finally, let's go somewhere really dressy, but still relax enough to show off your fun-loving quirky character. Let's say it's a top chef's restaurant, a celebrity chef, but it's not all fuddy-duddy, dark suit and silver service. Let's say you're wearing dark dressy jeans uh, or, or black slim five pocket pants and, and uh, say a dark jumper over a dressy collared shirt. Well, you might want to let your feet show off with the Parkhurst Allen boot in this very, very distinctive spruce kudu. For those of you who don't know, uh, kudu is a Southern African antelope and the hide is full of character developed during the life of the antelope, showing the scars uh, and escape from lions, entanglements on thorny bushes. 
Uh, kudu is an extremely soft and supple leather. It's similar to kangaroo and has stronger tensile strength. So despite its thinness and suppleness, it's very hardy. This spruce green color really pops under a dark outfit and the tinted natural edge just makes it pop out even more. Built in Parkhurst 602 last and with leather and cork under your feet, supported by a lightweight fiberglass shank, the plain toe Allen boot is very comfortable. The last is a combination last, which means that it starts narrow at the heel and it widens out at the ball of the foot. Despite the rounded toe, it's not very high profile, so from the side it still looks sleek and svelte. This, uh, for the colour and leather alone, is one of my favourite boots. And so, there it is. My pick of the six top boots I would wear on date night. Your choice is going to be decided by uh, where you're going and what your partner is wearing, bear that in mind. <laughs> but whichever pair you choose, you know that you're going to look good and you're going to be comfortable and secure. So tell me, what do you think of my choices? Tell me in the comments below. Tell me what you'd pick for your date night boots with your partner. And while you're there, don't forget to click on like and the subscribe button. According to YouTube, most of you are returning viewers, but there are three quarters of you who aren't even subscribed. Click on subscribe, man. It does you no harm. YouTube doesn't even show others what you've subscribed to, but it will mean that my videos get suggested to you when I upload, and it certainly helps me grow my channel by getting my videos shown to more people. So go ahead, click on subscribe, and I'll bring you more boot reviews and entertaining educational videos about all manner of things to do with boots. You might even call it edutainment. <laughs> Until the next time, take care and I'll see you soon.